Take note, bro. After a marvelous, beautiful, spectacular evening, vistas, food in Breckenridge and Silverthorne, Colorado. We're on our way right now to Kremlin, about 55 kilometers away. Supposedly, it's very scenic and very beautiful. So this is the scenery right now, beautiful, 11 degrees centigrade, a little chilly, but maybe not enough for me to put base layers and protect myself from the chilly weather. In fact, this morning I took a Colorado cold shower. I do cold plunges every morning when I'm at home but here I don't have with what right so <laughs> the water was very very chilly uh -huh. so we still have some snow how beautiful is that bags why don't you pretty interesting. I'm wearing full rain gear in addition to my waterproof Revit bike suit. <laughs> this is a very long road. No gas stations, no services, and I am surrounded by storms. and Jim, they're the owners of Aspen House Restaurant, the best steak, seafood, and pasta in Rawlings, Wyoming. And here we have Kalia. Kalia, a granddaughter. And here is... And a grandson. They're twins. Ah, they're twins. They're three. Excellent. Yes. Wow. Yes, Colin. Colin. And so my question to you guys is first, Jimmy. Jimmy, what makes you happy? Mm -hmm. I, I guess just being healthy at my age, trying to be healthy at my age. Ah, fantastic. Because I've been sick lately. Well, I hope you get better. Yeah. And I'm very glad to meet you, and I appreciate immensely that you've invited me into your home. Okay, well, we're yes, glad yeah. to have you. And, uh, Lena, what makes you happy? My family, right? Yeah, perfect. Sure. Yes. Okay, so you know what? I have six children and four grandchildren. And this is exactly what makes me happy too. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. So Lena today is the second person that has given me a meal for free. And the best possible meal. I <laughs> ate halibut with mango, avocado, pieces of strawberry, and beurre blanc. It was extraordinary. Oh, thank you so much for coming in here. Yes. There Thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you a question. What makes you happy, Ryan? Besides, as you just said, being above ground. <laughs> being out in nature. Out in being nature. Being away from most humans, yes uh, sir. Oh, why, why is that? Look at the humans in the world today. Uh huh. What do you think could be done to make humans in the world a bit better? Mm. 
That's too long of an answer. You know what? I spoke to a, a woman from Singapore in Rawlings, mm -hmm. and she said that what needed to be done is for people to stop thinking so much about themselves. Well, that's the biggest problem, yeah. That's the I biggest mean, problem. Humans are self, self-centered, greedy, that's thieves it. by nature. You know there what you I mean? Mm -hmm. If we live with the land instead of on the land, and if we would take care of each other, we'd live in a completely different world.